Hi everyone, this is Archana. Um, this is the video response for Nurse Laurel's uh, stick pin challenge. And uh, this challenge will end, I think, February 2nd, or I will post the link below. Uh, visit her channel and uh, see uh, current challenge, which is a stick pin. Um, I made this long stick pins. Uh, four of them I made since I love making stick pins. I am addicted To make stick pins. So this is my first one It has a pearl uh, headed pearl top and White pearl then spacer pearl spacer. I usually like to put any kind of spacer in between each bead. I don't like bead on the top of the bead. Sometimes I do but mostly I'm trying to put some kind of spacer like here uh, a small one. So this is not that uh, like good looking spacer but it uh, it gives some kind of touch uh, to your stick pin. So uh, this is my first one and my second one is this one a teapot and the spacer then we did a uh, spacer i made it uh, and a large bead spacer bead spacer bead spacer bead so this is my second stick pin and my third one is this one a butterfly and blue kind of beads I have used the small blue white butterfly this is the blue one then some it has some kind of blue touch but it doesn't look blue right now and then big one so this is my third stick pin my last stick pin is this one it shows like that from the top and from the side it is also has a teapot then big bead spacer bead spacer bead spacer and it goes on and this is my fourth one and quickly I'll show you one and one more stick pin how, how I made it uh, I took this spacer since uh, it doesn't have any uh, head kind of uh, pearl or any kind of head so I can use as per my choice or if you don't have this one you can use these kind of smaller one one is pearl headed oval I mean teardrop pearls and diamond headed so let's start quickly I'll show you First, I would like to uh, use, uh, since I'm again making teapot stick pin, so I want some kind of head like a holder of teapot. So this is champagne color bead. I'm not sure you can see it or not, but the uh, teardrop bead. Then I would like to use this diamond studded, glass bead studded. Um, spacer and then we will put teapot's first part which is a top we will put it in and then we need actual pot for that so I would like to use the this one the same one it goes perfect in here and then for the bottom, uh, it has a bottom spacer, the second part of this set, teapot set. But again, I would like to put one more crystal bead spacer. I mean, uh, crystal di <laughs> a diamond studded spacer. And then I would like to add the second part of this teapot. So look at this. Isn't it cute? So pretty. And then I would like to add, if you want uh, some kind of tray or something, you can always use 
any larger or flat kind of spacer which I am going to use it right here so it goes in so you can literally see like this teapot is settled on the tray a circle tray decorative kind of shabby tray and then I would like to use one big pink bead I don't know what to call this bead but this is really pretty bead so it goes in and then I would like to add one more bead I don't want any spacer in between right now since this bead has uh, metal trims so you can see the partition kind of thing in between and then I would like to use one bead cap instead of spacer so we will put the bead cap in and then I would like to put one bead uh, you the, the it's not necessary you can use only beads for your stick pin you can add anything here I'm going to add a this flower a paper flower so I already made a hole in there and we will stick this in give me a little bit time to poke in yeah it goes in so this I'm sorry this looks like that from the top you can adjust the petal anytime these petals so they look so pretty so I added one flower here and then I will add one filler bead I don't want any spacer since it won't um, show so I, I would like to add some filler bead since I am going to use this kind of trim in there so as you uh, see here I made a flower a ribbon flower here just like that so I, I didn't measure the trim but uh, I just cut the piece and then we will just uh, eyeball it and uh, just stitch it this stick pin through this lace and because of this bead this lace looks really pretty like it looks like the fan kind of so if you don't put the lace it will get flat uh, I mean if you don't put the bead it will get flat so this looks like that you can keep it like that or I will show you how I made that flower um, in a minute so we will put our last bead so this will be our last bead and then I would like to add a I mean uh, put the this uh, rubber or uh, um, plastic kind of um, what it called <laughs> I'm not sure the thingy so we can just stick it in there so your stick pin is ready right now unless you have to make a flower out of this thing so what you will need you just need to move it around like just turn and twist and make it like a flower see? so it looks like a flower here so you need to adjust it uh, right now uh, I cannot right now but um, definitely it looks really cute just like this one since it is on the top it looks pretty so I put this lace in the middle so I would like to keep it like that so this is my stick pin I hope you like it and it has a uh, this ending you should put this thing otherwise you will get hurt and these are my stick pins I hope Laurel uh, you like my stick pins and uh, all of you thank you so much for watching and bye for now